Hello, I'm Penny St. and I'm the host of Peace with Penny. I'm looking forward to our interview with Dr. Tariq Abu Khamed, the new director of the Aravar Institute for Environmental Studies, or AIES. He is the first appointment of a Palestinian to head an academic institute in Israel. Dr. Abu Hamed has an impressive resume. He served at the Arava Institute previously as the academic director and the director of the Center for Renewable Energy and Energy Conservation since 2016. Dr. Abu Hamed also served in the Israeli Ministry of Science, Technology, and Space first as the Director of Engineering and Applied Research, and then as Deputy Chief Scientist, including three months as Acting Chief Scientist of the State of Israel. The Arava Institute also has a unique resume. It offers students a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to immerse themselves in a cross-cultural environment with others who are equally passionate about building a more sustainable future. Their students and interns are comprised of approximately one-third Jewish Israeli, one-third Arab, including Palestinians from the West Bank, Jordanians, and Arab citizens of Israel, and one-third international students, primarily from North America. This is piecework at the people level. What better way to finally get the job done? But what made me want to get involved and work on peace? It was the summer of 2014, and for my son's bar mitzvah present, just like many Jewish parents, we wanted him to bond with the Holy Land. Oh, it worked perhaps too well. My husband had stayed back at the hotel, and our friends, my son and I, had just stopped in a pharmacy. Run! Run to the bomb shelter, sweetie! Please! Please hurry! I didn't hear the sirens at first, but the Israelis did. They're used to hearing these things. We ran to the back of the storeroom. It was a 12-foot by 24-foot windowless bomb shelter. My heart's pounding. Boom! Boom! I hear it and feel the percussion of the exploding bombs. I'm trying not to get sick. I look at my 13-year-old son and I think I'll never forgive myself if something happens to him. That's an excerpt from a speech I gave to the Orange County Jewish Bar Association. It was the first but not the last time we had to run to a bomb shelter. Our adventure and my transformation is also the subject of my book, Blasted from Complacency, A Journey from Terror to Transformation in Israel. There is no chapter in a parenting book on what to do when a war starts and you're on a family vacation. Think touring extraordinary and sacred sites mixed with cowering in bomb shelters. I'm still trying to get over the Jewish guilt of taking my son to war for his bar mitzvah present. The impact of being human targets helped me understand the plight of Israelis living like this, and it also made me want to work on peace. How Israel is often described on the news is not what I'd seen with my own eyes. And I felt Palestinian parents also preferred their children playing safely in their backyards. The missiles exploded just near enough to blow apart my world as I knew it, forever changing me. And you'd never recognize my life today with what it was like then. I believe I found my life's purpose. We hope you can join us this Tuesday, July 20th, at 11 a.m. Pacific Time with Dr. Tariq Abu Hamid, Director of the Arava Institute for Environmental Studies, or AIES. We will talk with him about his amazing career and how at AIES, through the interactions of their students, they work on peace every day. You can get the Zoom link on my website at penny, the letter S, T E E dot com under podcasts on my Peace with Penny Facebook page or at the end of this clip. It's free and please register. If you have a scheduling conflict, you can always see the recordings on my website at pennyst.com under podcasts. Thank you and we hope to have you join us. May you live in peace, shalom, and salam. Mm-hmm.